you have to say um, this podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. Okay. Watch or listen to this ad right into the camera. Okay. Which one? Just kidding. Just kidding. All of them. <laughs> right now? Yeah. yeah. This ad is brought to you. Nope. This it's podcast not. is brought to you and powered by. <laughs> Lean back a little. It's I'm a bad, tradition to mess it up. Never. This this podcast Wait, is... Wait, straighten your shirt just a little bit. Wait, your lips a little bit? Okay, there we go. Say, how now, brown cow? That's really scary. <laughs> <laughs> Hold them while you do it. <laughs> this podcast is brought to you and by... Uh, power, 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 power. Power, power, power. power, power, power. power. Brought and powered are coming together. <laughs> I'm saying Broward. You can say that. Broward Hall. It's a place. Um, okay. <laughs> ready this podcast is brought to you i keep saying brought do i say yeah, oh yeah that's right that's right, that's right. sorry no no, no keep no, going keep going brought to you and powered by sunday cool this broad broad <laughs> <laughs> what's this or listen hey everyone hey guys <laughs> how's it going how you doing oh you good it's just Excellent. Oh, there we are. <laughs> um, we want to let you guys know about something really, really neat that we're doing. It's called Build Your, your brand. brand. Go to sundaycool.com forward slash build your brand. Guess what? We have fully customizable swag packages for you mm -hmm. and for your brand to make your brand the best it could possibly be. Yeah, that means you. we do more than just shirts. So whatever art that you have on a shirt, you can throw it on a hat, a note jotter, a water bottle, a wristband, anything you like. And we have these packages already built for you. So all you have to do is just get with us and we can create your art for you if you don't have some of it already. And we can make your brand beautiful. It's going to make you stand out. It's going to unite yeah. you and your community. And it's going to be a really big deal. Yeah. So go to sundaycool.com forward slash build your brand. Man, I feel like this has been really wholesome. A little yeah. ASMR kind of. Yeah. This hurts my back standing like Does this. Does it? I kind of like it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Back to the show. Makes my eyes water every time. Everybody can hear everyone's. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Just can't hear check, you. Check, check. Here we are. Here start we are. Screaming. Yeah. Just Back to it. episode one. So if I'm going to say anything. Wait, are you feeling it? What? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, are you feeling that caffeine gum? Guys, I'm tripping right now. I do. I feel it. I'm so, out of breath. Why are you out of breath? Just setting this hi, hi, up. High paced morning. This just brought me back to a memory. <laughs> In third, I don't even know what year. Uh, third grade. We had an invitation from some news station to like show up at like 4 a.m. and get interviewed. <laughs> well, how old were you? Third grade. So what, like 18? That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Being interviewed as a third grader at 4 a.m. would yeah. be a rough, rough morning. Yeah. I don't know. What What do you think you could give a newsworthy talk about as a third grader? Um, well, I was in third grade when 9-11 happened. So <laughs> oh. just, let's just dive into it. <laughs> I'll tell you what I experienced. <laughs> that was flipping crazy. <laughs> do you remember it? I think it? I'm afraid. <laughs> Dude, I gave. I a, do remember it. Really? Yeah. I gave a really serious news interview when I was about that age. We it was right after uh, Georgia the Jungle came out, <laughs> and literally they were like, "What are you doing here at this playground?" It was like the unveiling of a playground, and I explained how I was swinging and like how I was testing all of Georgia the Jungle's moves at this playground. <laughs> and I'm so thankful YouTube didn't exist when <laughs> when that clip came out because it would it would haunt me to this day. So those that are watching or listening. We have, uh, how many people do we use? Four. Now we have a fifth person. <gasps> so we had to do so, a little bit of Jerry Regan <laughs> yeah. to get it all fixed up. So we actually can't hear Andrew in our headphones. So if we're like, <laughs> 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 because we can't hear him. I heard him just fine. Um, but that's my cousin, Brennan! Yay! Brennan, everybody! Brennan! 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 I, I was just, I was so Star Trek, uh, starstruck. I think I recognize you. Were, were you ever on a local no. news station like <laughs> no. 20 years ago? I feel oh, like I yeah, recognize I you. Yeah. Cute little kid. Yeah, I, I yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's me. <laughs> hey, make sure your like, your like mouth is on it. Pretty much. We let's hear you, let's hear you, let's hear you breathe. It. Take one inhale and out, exhale. Do you need oh. a oh. check? You know Wim Hof, bro. You know Wim Hof. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably. I could probably, you know, the Ice Man. Ice Man, baby. Um, I always turn the shower really cold. 
at the last 30 seconds of it, and I feel like Wim Hof. I'm no. Wim Hof. <laughs> <laughs> but the previous, like, 10 minutes before, it's, it's like, like blazing. Hot, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Too cold. <laughs> Did you think Andy was going to say that you looked like, or that you're Frodo Baggins? <sighs> Dude, yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I, was, I was just say, you're going to have to bleep that out. Because now... That's just gonna be, that's gonna take over. People are like, "Oh my, oh my goodness, Frodo Baggins!" <laughs> I'm gonna have some fun trouble. editing this one. <laughs> I don't know Lord of the Rings my, my enough to quote it or reference it, so that's you don't so have to weird. quote it. You just he looks like him. Okay, well you I don't have, I like have enough memory no, from Lord of the Rings to be like, "Hey, that guy looks like Lord of the Rings." I actually Which, don't even think you like movies, Andy. I probably don't. Jeez. I've never watched one all the way through. <laughs> what have you found out? I've just only watched like the first ten minutes of a movie. <laughs> Can we hit pretty good? We should hit pause on this production though, so we can put a green screen behind him, and I'll just put like montages of the, the Shire. Shire. <laughs> <laughs> so, like two years ago, I mean, it was really bad when I had like longer, bushy hair and hairy feet. Um, <laughs> but two years ago, we were at a gas station, and I like walk in, and my mom was behind me, and I, I get something, and I walk out, and she looks at my mom, she goes, "Did you see Elijah Woods?" <laughs> <laughs> and then my mom was like. That's my son. She's like, sure. your son is Elijah Wood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that now I get it. Elijah Wood. I didn't yeah. think, like. I didn't. Is I, it Woods I, or I guess Wood? I, oh, now I, I guess it. it's Fro. I guess you don't know who Frodo is. I always forget who Frodo. Is. Are you serious? Who's Elijah Wood to you? What are you? What's your no, movie? I when I see Elijah Wood, I I see Elijah Wood, but like when I hear Frodo, I always yeah. think of the old guy. I but I think I oh, think of Bilbo. Bilbo. Bilbo oh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so. Get all those baggins mixed up, you know what I mean? Yeah. Get them all in one bag. You, mix all mixed up, you have no idea who you're <laughs> Saturday um, podcasting is a weird vibe. Yeah, we're filming this on a Saturday. <laughs> this has never happened before. There's no one in the office. <laughs> it's weird. We're Except for alone. crazy uh, crazy plant lady out there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, with some rascals. Andy's wife. My wife. Uh, do you guys want a song? Yeah. You want a song, Brennan? Please. Okay. Are you a fan of music? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I dabble. Yeah. I dabble in the listening part. Hey. I've heard um, a song every now and then. What are we thinking? Wait, is this where you're going to play? Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. I actually, I, really good. I, I built, I built you, some music. My favorite part, I'll be honest, is these two. I'm sorry. Really? I really like these I, two. I dare you. <laughs> no, you guys are this fun. This is the best part. No, you guys are fun. I like, obviously love you. What you I'm so but flattered. I right, just, well, uh, I'm offended. We can stop recording. Yeah, we can cut it out. <laughs> this isn't working out. Saturdays are for us. Maybe um, Saturdays aren't for the boys. What kind of song are we thinking? Um, what if I surprised you? What if like I've a traditional pop? You can't hear them. I you heard. Just, it. Uh, no, but I was thinking traditional pop. That was a little, oh yeah. traditional pop. Yeah. Like what would that be? Like nineteen fifties like pop. What? Like Frank oh. Sinatra type of stuff. Like crooner. Dean Martin. Yeah, yeah, like crooner stuff. Oh, traditional. Yeah. I think pop. that'll work. Yeah. That'll wow. Work. You All got right. something on there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That'll work. Cool. That's crazy, dude. We're insane. You ready? Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Cool. Look at this. All right, here yeah, we go. Let's see. Well, I'll, I'll just try to. Maybe this is going to work out. We'll see. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, wow. Met a lucky lady just the other night. Ooh. Once you know it, love at first sight. Ooh. She has big eyes, likes to travel. Every time she speaks, my heart unravels. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sweet like honey, looks good and green. Prettiest creature I've ever seen. I'm so lucky, she's my girl. Cause my love for her, well, <laughs> it's out of this world. Let her loose and you'll be surprised. Check her out, you'll be vaporized. <laughs> but boys, I got something to tell you. She's an alien. <gasps> That's right, you heard me. Intergalactic, baby. <laughs> Extraterrestrial, more like extra special. Make way for my Milky Way, babe. <laughs> She's a freaky little green thing and I love her for it. Oh <laughs> You're supposed to say, don't change, change toots. Boop, 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 alien with green slime skin. Beep boop, bop boop, boop. That means I love you in the Laura Zox language. Oh, yeah. What do you say, honey? Honeymoon on Mars? All right, we got it. Woo! I lost it. 
I can tell the rhythm. You're like, ja, ja, da, da. oh no, that Brennan, was fun though. Brennan that was just good. staring at me like threw me <laughs> off. I, I all I can think about is the fact that Griffin doesn't have headphones on. Yeah, <laughs> so he's just hearing, <laughs> he hearing you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. Griffin, I, lean in and say hi. This is my other cousin. On. It's my brother. <laughs> I'm Brennan's little brother. <laughs> He's a hero. That's so funny. Do you I know actually, how much I practiced that song? Really? Yeah. You feel good about it? I was like in the bathroom, just like. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. We practiced it a ton yesterday, too. I know. Yeah, we finally got ahead, but that's the proof that we just can't practice ahead, apparently. Apparently. Because we got to do it 15 minutes beforehand. Are you yeah. calling me an alien? Or you have some like alien? No, I'm in love with an alien. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. He was supposed this to like he was supposed to like lead into like, oh my gosh, is this song about me? Oh no, it's an alien. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, but she likes to travel. She looks good in green. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Say, hey valet, how about you pull that spaceship around? <laughs> Here's a couple of space bucks for your trouble. <laughs> hey waiter, bring us two space slugs. Actually, make it three. <laughs> Just stuff like that. Because aliens have two mouths. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Or they have that uh, other. Alien that comes out of their tongue. Yeah. Like an alien. <laughs> um, but everyone be quiet, actually. Oh. Okay. <sighs> I have a question for today. Today's question, sent in by a viewer. All right. Is diabetes funny? <laughs> oh, Lily, really? what in the world was that? <laughs> okay, can you ask that one more time? That was really rude. Can you ask it one more time? Yeah. I didn't hear it. Oh, completely. Like, yeah. Um. The question sent in by a viewer okay. is diabetes funny? <laughs> what the, literally, <laughs> what are you doing? No, I don't think it's do funny. That? No, I don't think it's funny at all. A lot, I mean, Andrew, a lot of people suffer from diabetes. No, no. Rennie, do you think it's funny? I don't think so. I don't think it's funny. Okay, that. that's right. just yeah. I don't know. I'm laughing at diabetes, I bet you think uh, funerals are real funny too. Oh uh, my yeah. gosh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funerals, <laughs> cancer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you probably think that's real funny, huh? No, don't yeah. I don't. I don't. Yeah. All right. Well. Welcome I guess, to the show, I guess. Yeah, I guess Lily thinks diabetes is funny and other really terrible things. I don't. Welcome to the show! Oh my God. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful. Has it empty your mind? You were martial arts! Fuck ninja attack! Lily, Lily, stop Guys. laughing! It's so weird to hear that. <laughs> So when you just yelled, welcome, you know, welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Brennan dies right there. Are we in like a limbo right now? We can be. Yeah. Okay. Anything I just don't can know. be edited. <laughs> I just, I'm just looking. No, they're here. Exactly. I'm, I'm just overstimulated. Right There's a, a beam of light just <laughs> right in my face. Brennan's we should, just we should do out of here. We usually do welcome to the show, and then literally as soon as we start talking, it's after the intro. Nice, nice. Yeah, so they heard everything. So everything Wait. you just said is yep. after the intro. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, Brennan, are you nervous? Yeah. Well, don't be. I'm not nervous. What do you got to do to be not nervous? Do this. This always helps me. I just gotta breathe. There we go. I think it's the mic. I really. Do you want to train? No, no, no. Do you want to pull it out of the I'm thing fine. and just hold I on just, to the actual mic? I'm just he holding this. <laughs> you can actually Pixar. just hold the actual this thing and we can take no, the this, stand this off. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> it's great. I just can't stand it. It's driving me nuts. Just, <laughs> I'm solely focused on this. Um, how was everyone's two days? <laughs> Good. Yeah? Yeah. Busy. Yeah. Busy? What's busy? I'm editing a podcast. Oh. How long does that take? This podcast. You don't have to... To be honest, but it takes 10,000 hours. hours per minute of podcast. 10,000 hours per minute. Yeah. 10,000 hours. They say it's, it takes 10,000 hours to be an expert. If you equate it to how fast, like what a light year is, that. and then divide that by pi. And then divide that by 10,000, <laughs> 600 minutes. Yeah, it get, it's somewhere in that region. That's how many minutes it takes to edit a podcast. Um. <clears throat> You guys are really quiet. What's going on? It's Saturday. It's weird. It's the morning. That's it's what's stressful. going on. It's weird. I'm, act I'm actually being louder than normal. You guys just have no idea. I know. <laughs> it's, it's actually kind of yeah, driving me weird. crazy. No, it's good. I um I am excited to be here because I feel like we have a lot to talk about. Oh, a lot to discuss. A lot to dive into. Okay, which is right? Which is uh -oh. um somebody s say something. Bring up something <gasps> that they need to talk about because I feel like we all need to talk about something. Yeah. But where did just, you get the knives behind you? Um, uh, one of our buddies that used to work here, 
who moved to Texas, he used to live in Japan, and someone mm. handmade those in Japan. Wow, that's yeah. the real deal. Yeah, yeah, and they're the rigged. Real, they're rigged. Real. So whenever uh, uh, something I don't know, there's like a trigger word I say, and then whenever I say it, it'll come down and yeah. whoosh, yeah. Hit your head off. Yeah. 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 Can I just ask some questions? Sure, please. Because there's a lot I'm taking in right now, mm -hmm. and yeah, I can't relate normally when. <laughs> Oh, I get it. Can you no. just like walk me through some of these beautiful pieces yeah. of art? Start like the one behind you, directly behind you. What's going on behind there? Wow. I know I know you have a really cool backstory. Like there's Yeah, no, actually, yeah. so um my neighbor um who was best friends with uh Plato. <laughs> no way. No, not like the the um scholar guy but like the guy who invented plato he was a, dr. He, was friends plato. With, he was friends with dr plato yeah um oh my gosh he found that wow <laughs> <laughs> wow yep I do oh he didn't paint it no no painted no. it um i don't know he just found it in the oh, thrift store okay cool yeah okay it is kind of interesting that the painting of the mountains kind of called to you yeah wow. do you want to go home i want to go home <laughs> do you want to see mountains again do you, guys, what? you guys caught that, right? You want to see mountains again? No, I don't know what that I means. I want to see mountains again. Oh. This is another Lord of the Rings. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. You guys just let that me know whenever good. you're done, and I'll just be over here. My favorite guy is definitely that guy. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's, I mean, he's probably like a hermit dude. He looks like Hugh Jackman in like Les Mis at one point. Yes. <laughs> Just too much hair up top. I stole a loaf of bread. <laughs> I don't think you've ever quoted that. I haven't. That's the first time. <laughs> That's the first time. I started reading that book. Intense. In French? No. <laughs> In the original source. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a tearjerker. Did you really? I started. It's very big. It's very The big. book is? Very, book is Super. very big. Oh, so just watch the movie then. Yeah. Just watch yeah, the you movie. You should just watch a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen the movie? Yeah, but I forgot. Mm. So I don't know if I could make it through this book if I... Remember the movie. It's not based yeah. on true events, is it? Uh, it is. Kind of. Is it? The French I mean, Revolution. Okay. Well, Revolution. Right. I, don't I don't think that actually happened. Yeah. Yeah, the worst part of the book, he goes through Waterloo for like 80 pages, and you're like, what's this have to do with anything? <laughs> it has nothing to do with It's it. like Stephen King. Oh, there, I read some of the Dark Tower, and it's like he will explain for a whole chapter the guy's jacket. Mm. And like the pockets on the jacket. Get on and like, with where it. It's like, okay, did I you, don't feel like this is relevant. Did you really yeah. read it? I started to. Or did you listen to it? I'm, no, I actually read this one, so don't even. <laughs> first of all, that's how I knew it was a full chapter. I was like, how long does this go? I was, I was going like 18 pages ahead, and it's like, and the pocket under his rear. And I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this. I don't want to listen to this. Oh, it's terrible. Um, what do you guys think of the that thought that we're living in a simulation? Hmm. It scares me. Ever since Andrew <laughs> said the whole, like, the, the time traveler, like, the, like, Left turn. the... <laughs> The thoughts in people's heads and stuff oh, like yeah, that yeah. in the past that's just ruined I'm shook by this. Up. I'm shook up. I think about it. I'm on a five minute loop. I keep thinking about it. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Do you think we're living in a simulation, Brennan? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so either. But the thought of it freaks me out. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, what are people's like beliefs behind it? Like, how does that? Like, there, just because I, like the glitches of, and stuff. Like, it? when it you saw like a turtle or something on your vacation, you said we're living in a simulation. Uh, the turtle, because the turtle was. <laughs> I want to show. I gotta show you guys the videos. I'll show you after. But I was like sitting on the pool deck, yeah. and there it wasn't a sea turtle, but we're, a, on, yeah. we're on the beach. It was a tortoise walking on the beach. Wow! I'm like, wow! I saw this earlier. Booking I'm it. filming it, and it's like 30 feet down the beach. And I put my phone down, and I look, and a tortoise is crawling straight towards me. I'm like, but I looked, and I couldn't find the other tortoise. But and you're up on a sea wall. There's like a ledge. Like it yeah. couldn't climb that. I was like, I'm freaking out. There's no way there could be two tortoises in that proximity. No, that's There's no, no way. You've never seen two tortoises <laughs> together. That's Name one time. I I I can't. I'm so I'm so sorry. I literally yeah. can't. That's almost like the uh, Have you seen those prank channels when they do that with actual identical twins? Oh yeah. <laughs> so what if you're on a YouTube <laughs> turtle prank <laughs> channel? <laughs> people are just laughing at you cuz you're just like pranked. <laughs> Well, two turtles. <laughs> Simulation? What? They put little graphics on you. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> it's like a Japanese yeah, turtle show. <laughs> yeah. Asuka to Hanazo. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Pranked. Dude, that editing style always trips me out. I think it's we should so send our podcast to like a Japanese editor. That would be really funny. Make. Like edit this podcast yeah. how you would edit it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
don't look at any of our previous podcasts. <laughs> yeah. It's like, sing! <laughs> that would be so great. Oh. Wait, I have a question. So did TikTok get um, regulated? I don't know. Like the I US was thing. literally just thinking about that la- um, last night. We had to we've agree had to the U.S. Terms of Service. Yeah, yeah but we've that. had we in two uh, two times in the past like two years or a year we've had like everyone freaking out. TikTok's getting banned and all this stuff, and it's like that was so much wasted energy. People were like putting like thoughts into it. Like people were like, "I'm gonna lose my job. I'm gonna like I'm not gonna be able to make money off of TikTok anymore." But now it's just like they took you're just scrolling. It's a smoke they, and mirrors thing. Well, I don't even they know. took two about. steps forward to take one back. They like removed it from all the government stuff. Like a bunch of people on base can't have it. Like a bunch of military people. Yeah. So Why? I think that's Anything what they like were government doing. building wise. Well, Why? that's how Brendan got famous. Those TikTok dances, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's Brendan's phone. <laughs> Look at Brendan's phone. This is how I TikTok. <laughs> it does that have is a so camera. Cool. It's like a ta- like one of those like ancient tablets. Can you take a selfie with it? What is that oh, on the pod? Can we can we take a picture on the pod real quick and we'll put it in here? There we go. I should probably do the flash. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Speaking of simulation. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, we derailed you. And TikTok. I saw this dude give a story on TikTok to where he went to Bluff City, Utah. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I don't believe in this whole simulation dookie. Mm-hmm. He said, but what I experienced there had me question if we're in a simulation. Uh-oh. He said, every place I went, he said, we were at this hotel, and then we went to a grocery store, and then a restaurant, and he said, it's just, people were weird acting, like, they're just, like, they're, like, not expecting someone to come in. Yeah. And so, for instance, he went to the the hotel clerk, and he said, hey, can we get some towels uh, for our room? He's like, oh, actually, I don't know where they're at. This is my first day on the job. What? Did everybody say that? And then he went to the store and something wasn't working. <gasps> Weird. And she's like, I'm so sorry. This is my first day on the job. Weird. And then he went to a restaurant and the card wasn't working. And, he's, and she's like, I don't actually know how to work this machine. Mm. This is my first day on the job. <gasps> Dude. <laughs> and he's like. I feel like a Truman Show. What is happening? Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> Jim Carrey on the Truman Show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then another guy who duetted it, he didn't have a story like that. But he said he stopped in Bluff City and he said it was just a, a weird kind of vibe and just kept going like he was doing a road trip and he saw this hitchhiker girl walking on the side of the road but his car was packed he's like i just i can't pick her up or whatever no he said 30 miles down the same girl <gasps> stop it was right walking now. maybe she got hitchhiked or maybe they're faster. twins i got separated <laughs> and she was also right next to her a tortoise <laughs> <laughs> and then that is weird though that's tortoise. really weird yeah that is super strange i saw i think i i think i saw something similar to that but like it always reminds me of the truman show there's got there's got to be a civilization or a community that's pulled that off or done that in the past how, no matter yeah. how terrible it is something's happened north like korea that. yeah dude that's i mean that's so <laughs> yeah, you, just, like, you just described north korea <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but they like they live in like a false reality yeah, of like the right? outside world. There's got to be something like that. Weird. There's got to be. Is there something like that, that has ever happened in your life that you made you think like, oh, I, maybe I'm in a simulation? The maybe turtles. The, the turtles. Yeah, the turtles. Yeah, yeah, obviously. No, there's something else too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, anytime I have a deja vu moment, yeah. I, it like trips me out for mm. a long time. Yeah. Deja well, vu. I, I, yeah. I've heard. Have you heard about the, what deja vu is, yeah. or at least a theory about what it is? I've Tell heard, us. I've heard some. I have a theory. I have no, been but, I want, but I've seen the movie. I want to hear the theories first, but then well, I've I seen had a, the Denzel Washington movie With called Deja movie. Vu. <laughs> <laughs> but you go ahead. Well, I had a dream once that when you have deja vu, so my whole thing was God created us in his image. Uh-huh. So there's a part of God in all of us, and God lives outside the existence of time. And so when you experience deja vu, you're experiencing that eternal mindset or that eternal view that God has. Oh, my goodness. For a, a blimp. Oh, I've never heard that. That's cool. That's, a, that's, a, that's deep. That's I had awesome. a dream about that. Oh, really? Yeah. And I woke up. I'm like, I know oh, what deja vu is. Interesting. <laughs> Josh used to have a lot of dreams. And he'd like call me like, hey, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm Help. freaking out. <laughs> talk, about, like, talk about your dream Tuesday. you had this Wh- week. Oh, this was pretty crazy. And then we're going to go back into day Oh, wait, well, yeah, deja no, no, vu. go ahead no, with the deja no. vu. That's fine, that was it. Yeah, that was, yeah let's that go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, well, yeah. we'll <laughs> <laughs> no, I still want to lose track of it. Uh, my buddy in tattoo artist, Binks, mm-hmm. um, I, this was two nights ago. I, I thought it was real, but it was a dream that he called me, 
And I didn't answer because it was like three in the morning. And then I woke up in the morning. I'm like, check to see if he did call me. He didn't call me. So I come into work. I'm sitting down. And he calls me. And we hadn't talked in like a month or so. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I answer. I'm like, yo, dude, whatever. And I'm like, I actually had a dream that you called me last night. And he's like, serious? (laughs) He's like, I'm calling you because I had a dream that you called me last night. Wow. And then it led to nothing. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so really? no. it just no. happened. Yeah, yeah. No, we're getting lunch tomorrow <laughs> or uh, next cool. week. Uh, the yeah. the theory I've heard is that it's like when your memory passes from like short and long term that mm. there's like a crossing over, and so you have it existing in both locations at the same time, and so that's why you feel you've known it before, but wow. it's like a jump. So you. Yeah, that's the explanation I've heard. Okay. But I'm very that, that excited to hear yours. It's not that exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it's um so the Gestaltian <laughs> Gestalt you start saying big words. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But there's this idea that like if you were to draw a circle and not complete it entirely, your brain still goes, Oh, it's a circle. You see a circle mm-hmm. because it fills in the gap. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And we can have memory or we can have experiences that perhaps resemble in s- to such an extent that oh i see yeah our memory yeah. fills in the gap and that experience of kind of our memory filling the gap and associating this moment with a previous memory like Whoa. brings them together wow because we and are it, creatures just, of habit and we also hang around um, as humans we hang around a lot of the same group so you're like we're bound to like <laughs> yeah. face some type of like similarities Similar in conversations and in cadences the way we talk the way we stand even like the situations that i get that like how old is i remember that <laughs> um, but like isn't it weird like when you're in those moments of deja vu like have you had like a really long extended yeah, one like, where it's yeah, like yeah. you're in it you're like, you're like i know I'm this getting is deja vu happen. and it happens and yes. you're like and okay. then this person's gonna hold up their phone like it's like dude it's trip whenever out, someone says i have deja vu i go like was this in it <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, no, that wasn't. What if they it. mimicked you at the exact same time? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, I'll tell you what it really is. Um, <laughs> it's it's when one of your eyes perceives something and the other one is delayed, and your brain sends a process, so you're experiencing what you think the memory is in real time. Your other eye is just delayed. It's kind of like gestalt. It's uh, yeah, almost yeah. exactly like that. Yeah, I think you mean inflation. Yeah. That's what I learned in psychology <laughs> class. Um, <laughs> But I think your idea is really cool, Dad. But that's what they say in psychology. How do they know, though? They don't. Wait, did you study? School? I think it's a really cool idea. But I it's almost a minored. Dream. I didn't declare. <laughs> you, okay. I didn't finish school. Um, do you think blind people have deja vu then? Totally. Uh-oh. Just a different type, right? It's a audi- It's just audio. 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 Wait, but if they're Auditory. if they're saying it's something Auditorial. that's with your eyeballs, but I think just it's just the way that your brain is Auditory. perceiving, like what Brennan is saying. So maybe they do. Blind viewers. You ever get deja vu? Blind, what did you just say? That. What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say, Lily? Say blind. it again. <laughs> blind listeners. Yes. There you go. Okay. Lily. <laughs> Visually impaired fans of the show, let us know, please. <laughs> and let us know what That's you like, want. I'm actually really curious, though. So. Yeah. yeah adult, totally. It's fascinating. And absolutely. Because, I mean, it's just a life that's completely different than us. It's a culture that's completely different than us. And it's... It really is. Uh, and it's hard to ask those questions. That's why I love Reddit when they have like the um, ask me anything where it's like they'll have somebody in a specific type of um, field of work or in a very unique type of way of life or maybe has a different type of impairment. And you just get like, no problem. Ask some questions and they ask us on, uh, answer honestly. It's pretty dope. Does uh, your poop drive out farts or does your farts drive out the poop? I mm. think that farts drive out poop. I think so too. <laughs> it's gross. But does that mean every time you poop, you have to have a fart? I don't think that's true. I think I think we can right? answer that scientifically. So the food goes in. <laughs> it, I mean, think about it, though. We're the, diving in. The, we're going in. The The food lands in your stomach, and then gas develops. And so the food would already be setting, and gas would be rising. So it would exist higher up in your intestinal tract. So it would be behind the food, always pushing it out. I feel like one's neither one are dependent on either, either of them. But I feel like poop <laughs> pushes out more farts than <laughs> farts push out poop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Brendan, we have a tradition <laughs> here with we talked about on a couple of podcasts ago. Uh, when we have a guest on, you have to give us your best poop story. It oh, doesn't yeah. have to be your personal one, but there is one yeah, that we have experience. talked about sure. when you're doing a like a mission um, 
Yeah, yeah, this this isn't really about India. poop. We haven't talked about it on here. <laughs> but we haven't talked about it on here. It's, it's can, less I, can about I fill poop. it out, make it broader? It'll no entail sure, that. Sure, sure. All yeah. Right. All right, just we're just hit about, us. It's just about. so um. <laughs> like, just break just it. mantling this up. <laughs> so, Mother Teresa is an incredible woman. She lived and died. <laughs> and you left should write name. eulogies. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Amen. an amazing woman, uh, Saint Teresa of Calcutta. She had a call to go and serve the poorest of the poor, and this was in Calcutta, India. And she would go around and essentially pick people off the streets who were just abandoned. I like how you're looking in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give um, talk what? about the caste system though? Too, were you getting there? Okay, I don't. I can't speak to to. Okay. I don't know too much about the caste system. There's a caste system um, in which there are the uh, the, the people at the top. Like elites, I'm forgetting yeah. the name. And then the people at the bottom. And so the people at the bottom are not looked at with the same dignity. Keep looking at the Got camera. it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Um, and so a lot of times they're just abandoned on the streets and left there. It's really sad to see. Oh, Awful. And so Mother Teresa just shows up, this like Catholic nun. She's like, no. Nah, God's love. Everybody is full of dignity. Everybody is worth love. And so she just goes to the street, starts picking up people, bringing them to um, her place and just nurturing them and giving them uh, care. And there's a great story I just heard recently. She would go and beg for money to to supply food and resources for them. And she goes to this door and a lot of people were really upset with her. And she goes to this door and, and she says, hey, um, alms for the poor, you know. Uh, and he goes, he pretends to reach down, and he spits in her hand. Oh. And then she reaches her other one. She says, that was for me, was for the poor. Oh. Dang. She said this wow. incredible humility. It wasn't about her. It was about Did God's she punch love. Him? No. <laughs> oh. No, 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 then someone came up. And like, <laughs> <Yo>! Stone Cold Stunner. <laughs> well, anyway, so we uh, we took a trip there. We, we do a trip. So I'm part of a community called the Brotherhood of Hope, and we take a trip usually annually. In the summer, we take a group of guys. And when I was there... I just graduated from Florida State University. Go Knowles. Nice. And I... Ew. Gators. <laughs> Gator. I <don't> <laughs> all right. Hey, this is Gator country. <laughs> it's not. It's really not. Turn back. <laughs> all right. <that'd> be <laughs> just like, um, so we go there, and they have several houses in which they're serving the locals, um, the really poor, the destitute. And some people literally will go and pick up people off the streets. It's... It, Sad, you know, really. Yeah, crazy. Um, but I'm at this home. It's called the Home for the Dying. And oh just a bunch of beds, old men dying. And sad, definitely sad, but also just beautiful. They're full of joy. They came from the streets. Now they're in here taken care of. And these women just love them. These women don't make sense. Like, I don't know, how, day in and out. They're just like wow. loving and serving these people. It's their life. And we, um, so <laughs> we'd go and we'd do various things. <laughs> uh, we'd shave them. It was great, you know. Put them to bed. Really humble care, and like you know. Um, and so at one point, usually we chill. We start washing the clothes, and it was after breakfast. You know, kind of groggy. You wake up so early there. It's like I don't know, four hundred degrees, and <laughs> and you're I'm cleaning the, the the dishes, not the dishes, the clothes. And next thing you know, you know, the sisters kind of disappear for a moment. Like where are they? And then the guys are all sitting there, and then I just see like several faces, like. Oh. I'm like, what's going on? And then one of them stands up. He's like, oh, no. Oh. And, then, <laughs> and then just what ensues is a lot of things. And it's one of those moments like, come on, somebody, show up. He's like, just going off. Help just like the place, oh, you know, not that dramatic. He won't say it, but he was pooping his pants. <laughs> he was coming. And, you know, fair enough. We've all been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's just, it's just going, and I'm looking, and I'm like, Come on, sisters, come to his aid. It's not me. me. <laughs> you know, don't send me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, sure enough, it's like, all right, all right, what do I got to do? And so I walk over and I'm like, let's go, man. And go to the bathroom with them. And, you know, Brother Parker, one of the other brothers, is there. And it's, it's great. We don't leave. Sorry. Don't do that. <laughs> I love her. Um, and, uh, and we spend the rest of the day just in the bathroom. All right, we got a twenty three nineteen, you know, and uh, it was awesome, but uh, very He's humbling. Wiping, wiping booties, wiping, bo wiping Jesus' booty. Were you making eye contact while he was in the process of like just standing there? Like, was it just that moment of like that was one of those like <laughs> just looking down? Man. Yeah, but it was awesome. I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it really was. It was funny, you know, like 
I don't know why this came to my mind, but the Navy SEALs are like, all right, we got to sing in the mud. And like, they're like in the mud, sing in the mud. You know, David Goggins, like, relax. Dude. Um, <laughs> but we're just in there. And for whatever reason, you know, you're just dealing with crap. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> we, were la- we were like laughing and it was just so joy filled. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Cause you just have to embrace it at that point. You just got to embrace yeah. it. And it's just like, it's just humanity. It's like, yeah. we'll probably yeah. be there. And you know, one day Josh will be like, yeah, I'll, I had I'll it. be wiping your butt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like, just part of the process. Like, this is just a couple of years from you, now. Buddy. This is just a couple of years from now. <laughs> we do that every Saturday. Oh. My favorite no. part is that you got a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What? He got scabies after her <laughs> from wiping them. butt. <laughs> it was really messy. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot. No, but I just, I remember you telling me that story when you got home and you were just miserable with your scabies. (laughs) I I had had those in high school. It's unreal, dude, right? It's It's like the biting is insane. It's crazy, bro. Yeah. I I thought I was going to lose my mind. Yeah. And I I just got poison ivy recently. Really? How? Well, we were working on somebody's like property, just cleaning up some brush. I, I forgot what it looks like, and I'm like in a tree, just like you know, like trying to break this tree down, and it's all around me. Oh no! And so everybody starts breaking out, and I'm like, I'm not allergic. <laughs> you know, like everyone says oh, I'm not allergic, and the next thing you know, like I have scars right now from oh. this thing. It was just like oozing, and I was like, Jeez, <laughs> terrible. Ah. I, remember, I was speaking at a conference one time. We were talking about you know like the vine and the importance of it, and I was just like outside, and I was like, you know what, this would be really cool, like because I'm yeah. speaking Monday through Friday, so I'll grab the vine today. And then, like, we'll put it out on the, like, stage throughout the week. So it's, like, you know, if you remove the, you know, if you remove a branch from the actual source, you know, it dies, it withers, whatever. And uh, I'm just holding this thing on Monday night. Just going crazy. Like, just explaining things. I'm holding it the whole time. And then I'm adjusting my mic. And I'm, dude. Oh, wait. The next day done oh, just no. donezo like everywhere dude it was awful i can see you using yeah. it a prop you're using it like, like, like this and you're like <laughs> yes. clicking it and stuff yeah, just between my legs what's up <laughs> oh no but like speaking of butts and poop and poison ivy no way really yeah did what? you know that it's not right i don't go anywhere whoa andy you what is that it's our new shirt at sundaycoolswag.com. What? Yep, we got new swag. Ninjas are butterfly swag. Look at it. It's a little spaceship cowboy. Alien. Alien. We, we, the, we, they wanted, we, uh, people wanted an alien holding swords, but I said, why don't we just make him a cowboy too? And let's put him in a UFO. So we got this new shirt on the site. Very limited run. And it goes with this cool little fancy hat. Bada boom, bada bang. Another space alien cowboy. Look at that on the side. Look at that stitching on the side. <gasps> Guys, we made this for you. Sunday Cool made this for you. So you gotta go to sundaycoolswag.com and get it before it's gone because we literally. Limited time only. Limited time. First so come, first serve, baby. When it's, when it's gone, it's gone. Yep, we're not bringing it back. So go to sundaycoolswag.com and order your merch today. Right, Brennan? Brennan, yell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The biggest thing is just trying Put to find in. that that. Put me in. Get it in there. Yeah. Thank you. I really like when you do that. It's do you remember? Yes. Do you remember that time? I'm just remembering back when we had just started dating, Josh, and we went to go visit your family, and it was when Brendan was still home, or you were visiting, or something after you were living in Minneapolis. And you guys were playing beach volleyball, and no one was looking at Brennan, but he is holding onto the net, like pretending to be a caged animal. <laughs> what? Do you remember that? No. <laughs> and it was when no That's one was watching him. <laughs> no one was <laughs> watching him. makes it the funniest <laughs> part. Dude, I'm just good. <laughs> Get chimp in a cage or something. Not trying to like make anyone laugh. But I'm <laughs> <laughs> really? No. See, I. You know, I feel like I'm in the Truman Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. just my reality. I'm like, people are watching. <laughs> They're watching I know. somewhere. God's watching. God's cracking up. <laughs> now like, that's funny. Wow. <laughs> Shake that net, Brennan. That's original. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's cracking up. Look. <laughs> Look at the net. And you always talk about, too, on your bachelor party, how Brennan was, like, sitting in front of the TV watching oh the ancient gosh. aliens. Yeah. <laughs> 
hated it. Oh yeah, there was like because it was like me and like three other people were outside and we're like it was your bachelor party. We're just like come on, go outside. It's the mountains. Let's have fun. And then <laughs> but I, then there's like the, I climb up the tree oh, and I'm yeah. looking through the window and Brennan's just watching ancient like, aliens from and, like right here and the rest of the crew like five <laughs> other dudes are just watching Brennan watch the TV. <laughs> Because <laughs> he kept on, he kept on dying laughing at the time that the guy came up with the hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the classic funny. meme guy. Yeah. yeah, that's funny. And you talk about too when they were kids, how they were the type of kids that would sit like right in front of the TV, yeah. and you'd be like, you'd be like Griffin, Griffin, Griffin. <laughs> like you couldn't get their attention. Yeah. Ada's that way too. Yeah. And you always say your brother. My funny, the funniest story you tell us. Oh my god. Caleb goodness. would stand in front of the TV, and you're Dude. like. <laughs> Move! Dude, he would that that's when he was sleepwalking <laughs> like he would like fall asleep on the couch and we'd be like caleb go to bed because he would like snore and talk in his sleep you and never, so me and, oh go yeah, ahead no me and my sister would just get so annoyed we're just like go to bed and they're like he'd be like, fine <laughs> and yeah. he would get up grab his blanket and then just stand in the front of the tv <laughs> while we're trying to watch the movie and then we just yell and we're like caleb go to bed and he'd be like yeah we have a lot Fine. of Fine. And then he would never, he would just go stand in the kitchen. You have to tell everyone, <laughs> and Brennan and Griffin, the story where you convinced your brother that you're a vampire. <laughs> what? I told my, have I you told, never heard this, Andrew? I told no. my kids about this, and they're just like, how long did this take? <laughs> for? So when we were, uh, when we were kids, we traveled all the time. So we just always try to come up with just games. And my brother and me, um, we were probably uh, the closest growing up. And he's like three, four years younger than me. And we're one day we're living in California and uh and I just <laughs> He got really scared of vampires for some reason. And so I just was like, I'm just gonna commit. Mm. And I told him, uh, you know, like I got bit by a, a bat one time when I was younger <laughs> and I've been a vampire and it's slowly like I've my magic powers have been coming like slowly <laughs> through as I grow older. And then he's like, No way. And then over the course of a year I convinced my brother that I was a vampire and he was terrified <laughs> the whole time. I would say we, I remember one time we were like a <laughs> hometown buffet in Cal, um, uh, Oceanside, California. And I remember it was the first time he really freaked out is because I, <laughs> we were in there and he wanted to prove because they knew vampires d couldn't have reflections. <laughs> <laughs> and so we stood at a mirror and I stood at an angle <laughs> and I said, do you see yourself, Caleb? And he said, yeah. And I said, do you see me right next to you? And he said, no. And I said, exactly. <laughs> and, I oh my goodness. <laughs> and then there was this time we moved to like somewhere in Wyoming. We had neighbors that like were super rich, had a super high fence and everything. And one time I was just like rolling in my bed. I was like, oh, I need to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I needed blood. I need to <laughs> feast. And I like, I knew he was watching and hearing me, but I wasn't like talking to him. So I wanted to like just try to convince <laughs> <laughs> and so I I, uh, I got like all dressed up in my black clothes and like a black hoodie and I snuck outside and I knew he was following me. <laughs> and I, I was like, I need to convince him like I'm, I, something I would never do. And that's trespass. <laughs> so I climb over this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> trash pass? Trash pass. Trash pass. What did I say? Tr trash pass. Trash pass. Trash pass. Trash pass. Okay, and God. so uh, we, like, I jump in the middle of the night. I jump over this fence and I climb onto these people, this people's house. <laughs> I'm like, so oh he just, he's like, goodness. he's like, that's it. It's confirmed. He's a vampire. <laughs> oh my God. That's so a vampire this, behavior. So for, yeah. So for that whole time, I was just like, we convinced my brother and he would terrify him. And every time he like, wouldn't do what I wanted to, I would threaten him that I would like, like turn him into a vampire. <laughs> How old was he? Oh, we were probably, I was like in fourth grade or something. He was you know, like in first. Wow. It was terrifying. First grade. <laughs> I'm <Stuff>. hungry. <laughs> Well. But now he's this just this big buff dude who's like flying helicopters and <laughs> army and so oh. and now he could probably beat me up every time. But yeah. I don't care. Taylor ever convince vampire. you of anything? Do what? Taylor ever convince you of anything? No. Josh really? would have been the convincer. Yeah, I was the convincer. Dude, me and uh I'm the oldest of three and me and my middle brother, I don't know why, but we got the great idea that it would be funny to convince our youngest brother that we were running away. And mm -hmm. we were like, you can go, but you'll break mom's heart. So we're just going to dip. We thought it was funny. So we literally just put backpacks and like, like saw him watching us walk down the street and forgot about it. We come back to the house and he's still standing in the doorway Aww. bawling Aww. because he thought we had left. I, um, when my sister and I were younger, we were watching a uh, left behind mm -hmm. and with the rapture and stuff. <laughs> And she, like, went to go get, like, a cup of water or something. And I 
basically just got butt naked and laid all my clothes out on the couch. As, as like, you were as, sitting. As yeah. I was laying. And I hid behind the couch. And she walks naked. in and she goes, Josh? Oh, my God. Josh, no. And she started crying and, like, went, Mom, Dad. And like, she was just making sure she wasn't left behind. <laughs> and you're just dying laughing naked behind the couch. <laughs> um, but, yeah, now she suffers with anxiety. So. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Uh, my dad also convinced all of us kids when we were little that we had an older brother. His name was Timmy. And that he, we had it's this, like, um, it's not true. But we had this, um, our like, septic tank septic. in the backyard. It was, like, a hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And my dad always said, like, like if you disobey, <laughs> you're going to end up like Timmy. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like saying like Timmy. I killed Timmy yeah, yeah, because yeah. he just disobeyed <laughs> and we were <laughs> freaking friends that my dad buried Timmy in the <laughs> backyard <laughs> yeah I, I saw this uh, TikTok parenting. it was this person that said they, uh, my parents told me that we had a kid uh, another brother who died because he didn't take a shower and he turned into a mushroom. <laughs> they put him in the photo <laughs> album. In the photo album. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all th three kids and then there's a mushroom. <laughs> and a black and white photo. Wow. So oh. I would wear a shirt that just had a mushroom on it said RIP. Yeah. <laughs> there's, take, take your shower. There's a terrible i heard a person talk about how like a like you know all those little fibs you tell your kids apparently like just to like to get them to mind apparently but uh the person i had a co-worker i was they were telling talk to me about like how they were walking into walmart and there's like oil spills these little black spots like yeah. walking through walmart in the parking lot <laughs> they said those are kids who let go of their um, parents hands in the parking lot oh they, my gosh they just melt down become little stains <laughs> in the parking lot forever I'm like, that's so mean to your kid my mom used to say that about um I don't, I don't know if you're when you're on 95 going up and there's that big factory out in the water on the distance my mom would say that that was a cookie factory that they sent children who were bad on road trips they send you there and turn you into cookies. Yeah. <laughs> so mean. Kiki said that's that. Kind of and that's why this generation struggles with mental health. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, we did the, my stepdad always used to say, whenever we drove past the cliff, they would say, watch for falling rock. He would tell us about a myth of an Indian named falling rock. And so we'd, ever, we'd, we'd just like, watch for him. Watch for falling rock, guys. Um, you ever go on Snape hunts? Snape? Snipe. 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 I've... Don't we pranked some people in high school. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> don't you can't touch <laughs> me. Snipes. <laughs> I'm quick. <laughs> You're the one being hunted now. <laughs> <laughs> you can't <laughs> see me. It's like, we can. It's just You're just holding the cloak up higher. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> What's a snipe? A snipe, it's a... I've never seen one, but mm. I think it's like a bird rodent. Um, yeah, they say like it's, yeah. it was like uh, it's an overseas bird, but like they've been spotted in America, and so like you have yeah. to like do like a specific call and everything like that. Mm -hmm. But you can um, do it, and you can yeah, snipe it's pretty hunts. intense. Oh, I don't know how to do it. What's the snipe noise? Do you have like yeah, like you have to like <laughs> almost like clap too. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Perfect. I actually I thought have that was from the movie many up. snipes. That's from up. Oh my gosh! So what a me. snipe. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually just a joke. Like it's like oh. something you would have like you would convince people like uh you're like like guys, let's go snipe hunting. It's like one of those like freshman things. You'd bring them out into a forest and like you have to like do the specific call, you have to split mm -hmm. up a little bit and you have to make this noise and whoever catches one gets like a hundred bucks or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so you go out there and then the person goes out and then you just come back and hang out the house and while they're out there in the forest <laughs> just going snipe is snipe. Um but speaking of things that are lost that we can't find. Have you guys ever heard of the lost labyrinth of Egypt? No. No. Have you? Oh. Sounds like a really good movie, though. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was Dude, this is crazy. It's so, Tom Cruise? No, it's a I forget the guy's name, but he's been on the Joe Rogan podcast before. Indiana he's like Jones. this Australian guy with like a ponytail. Okay. Super smart. And he's like very into like Egyptology and like all that stuff. But he talks about this. It's called the lost labyrinth of Egypt. And it basically, for... Um, how big it is. He said it, everything that you see in ancient Egypt, it could fit in this labyrinth. Wow. So he said it was over a thousand room labyrinth and like it's been written about, but they've never been able to find it. And then this one dude, um, he was digging in Egypt and he found something that was like, Oh my gosh, this is it. And he's like, but this is like the foundation of it. Like the, the floor Turns out that was the roof of it. So no it was way. all underground. So they found it. They found it, <gasps> but they couldn't get into it because of the political whatever of 
They're very yeah. strict with like digging in Egypt. Yeah. Um, but this one dude, his name was Louis uh, de Courtier. Mm. Um, he led the, uh, uh, how do you say that? Mat- Matinhar Expedition in 2008, where they, they did the, uh, <laughs> the ground penetrating radar. Oh. And he found it. Like, this was the hidden yeah. labyrinth. Wow. Wait, and so what does that do? It's like sonar and it could tell you where all the rooms are and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. And we can't cure cancer. <laughs> we could put a man on the moon. They did make that pill that supposedly cures cancer. You started telling me about it and then you stopped. I'll anyway, get, I'll get about into the that. labyrinth. Um, but what he was able to scan what was underground, what he saw was equivalent to three football fields underground, like this labyrinth thing. Wow. But he says it was much bigger than that. That's huge. Oh, no, I was, no, I was like, I was like, that's, <laughs> that's football the stupidest thing you've ever said. Yeah, I was like, they don't play What's football in Egypt. So what? Why? <laughs> Underground, <laughs> Josh? Come on. Um, Wait, why would it be a, a labyrinth? Because it was just like, is this maze of temples and rooms, and like, it was just like a labyrinth. They're I just feel trying to confuse people. I don't know. I feel like um, Chris Pratt in Parks and Rec, where it's like, you've gone too far, and you're afraid to ask, what is a labyrinth? It's like. You it's know, like a maze. Yeah, like a maze. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. I just, I've I just, just did this. Do I just think Pan's this? Labyrinth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. Perfect. Um, it's because David this? Bowie was the, the proprietary owner. Yeah, that's all I see. Yeah, mm. David but Bowie. But he reported his findings and was instantly blacklisted. And he was restricted mm. from doing any further study. Uh-oh. On it. Neat. Why? And so they knew about it. <gasps> they did. And uh, he held a press conference. So his stuff was like, um, taken off of all websites, all anything published. Wow. It was just gone. And so he held a press conference to be like, I got to get this out there yeah. of my findings. No media would cover it. Oh my gosh. And Weird. that brings us back to the whole narrative thing of yeah. like the Smithsonian hiding um, things that goes against the narrative of what has been taught. Yeah. Because his whole thing was like uh, this labyrinth and the pyramids and the Sphinx all existed before the ancient <laughs> Egyptians. <laughs> What's going on? What? <laughs> <laughs> what got your funny bow? <laughs> Just me talking about. <laughs> He's like, you are. <laughs> this is who you are now? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm just but he thought, like, so. Um, that the Sphinx and all that predate. Yeah, so ancient Egyptians came across these sites. So, like, the labyrinth <laughs> and the pyramid. <laughs> And the Sphinx. That's, <laughs> that's great. No, no. Um, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. <laughs> well, I, well, I wonder if it's a maze because they hit something. That's yeah. the thing. It's like if they figure, they figure. They figure. <laughs> right. Right. Nah, they Why would they go in a labyrinth? <laughs> There's to be something hidden. Riddle me this, guys. <laughs> um, uh, so who, that's so weird. Who do you think built the pyramids, Bren? Um... You better be right. Yep. <laughs> we have we have the answer. There's a lot riding on this. <laughs> I'm just like sweating and just be right. I refuse. There's the uh, gun. I don't, I don't know, gun actually. At him? Let me take you on this journey. <laughs> what if, do we know where Babel happened? Uh, the Tower of Babel? Yeah. Uh, they say like modern, like Iraq, right? Yeah, in that oh, area, they probably. Oh, okay. I don't know. Was Pangea around? Pangea. Pangea would make a lot of sense during the time of Babel. Yeah, it would. What's Pangea? All the Andy. countries are. Andy. What's Pangea? What's Pan- Pangea? It's that theory of the all the continents were connected into one continent. Oh, okay, Pangea. got it. Yeah, yeah. and then a big. Day. Or just over time. <laughs> over time? That was the yeah. noise. Those was the big. Yeah. big. Or all <laughs> the big bang. That was big <laughs> for the Pangea. Some people say that Pangea broke apart because of the pole switching. That um, I've seen that, that wow. theory where the pole switched and the world went. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that anymore. Was it what I call it? It's it was so like dark. The, the polar, the, yeah, the Adam, Adam and Eve theory or it's whatever. So scary. So. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's the jump at the right time theory. Yep. Oh. <laughs> yeah, remember? <laughs> <laughs> We're good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> missed it. <laughs> like if I hold my breath right at the right time yeah. during a tsunami, I'm fine. <laughs> you have to literally, but if you do it two before, like right before the wave hits, yeah. you're done. Do you know this past <laughs> month they also found a ancient entrance to quote the underworld discovered in Mexico under a church? Insurance? 
Entrance. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they found, so they've been Mexican insurance. insurance for that. <laughs> wow. No, yeah, they found it. Um, it was talked about for I think the year six hundred or something. They talked about this temple mm. that exists in this place, and the locals for thousands of years claimed that it was a entrance to the underworld. Spooky. And it just okay. so happens to be built right under a church. And when they discovered, they went down, and it's like completely sealed off. So like you can't get into it. Mm. Oh my god! And gosh. so I go, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to call Kate Beckinsale. Say it's the underworld. Oh yeah, underworld. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Let me in. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kate, guys. We got to let her in. I got this. You said so it right. Where was it at? Where specifically in Mexico? Um, Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mexico, Mexico. No, I don't, I don't know. I didn't write down the town. Hmm. Hmm. Abby, um, what would you do if you found a entrance to Underworld and uh, whenever you're doing your third bedroom remodel? Oh my god! What would you do? <laughs> Tourism? Tourism? Yeah. <laughs> get insurance for it. <laughs> well, first of all, we got to get insurance. <laughs> let's get a, get. Let's get an agent on here. Let's Find the insurance. Out. Get the insurance. Also, can we get the square footage of this? <laughs> like, can that go towards our listing? Because that'd be great. <laughs> Did you know one of the the country's largest private bunkers? Like underground bunkers exist in Mount Dora. It's in Mount Dora. No what? Way. What? Yeah. yeah it's so, I didn't know that. It's so spooky. It's called the catacombs. I'll tell you all about it. So Cat- you know where Target is? Yep. Yeah. So there's, you know, you've been on Morningside with that crazy big mansion, uh-huh. like that white mansion that was yeah. for sale forever. It is theorized that the entrance to it is in their backyard in the orange Dude, groves. Let's Keegan, go Keegan find knows it. all about it. And it's, I mean, it was like, Funded by something like six families yeah, in the Mount Dora like, area, very rich area. and it's been completely pl- abandoned. Can we please during do a the, podcast uh, down there? It was during the Cuban Missile Crisis, where these six very wealthy families in the Mount Dora area all put their money together and built bunkers that were attached to all of their homes. All their homes. So, wow. who, who owns it now? Like this it's is just in someone's backyard this where the. I think like the so the city or the interest. state doesn't own it. It's like it's still no, pro- private it's, property. Yeah, it's private. How have we not gone and explored this? Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, you can't. You Let's can't. You have to. You'd have to trespass. Trespass. We'd have to know. Trash pass. Trash pass. <laughs> trash pass. <laughs> hey, you got a trash pass? How hey, you can't trash pass here? <laughs> no, we just have to make friends with the risk. people. <laughs> yeah, let's do a podcast. And doesn't it go there? under downtown Mount Dora as well? I, go, I don't or know. There's parts of it. I know that it goes under Target. Is what I had heard. And that's scary though. All the sand and stuff. Under is it like a built? Is it like? Built tunnels, or is it like just dug tunnels? Let like, me no, no, it's I'm just show you guys Okay, cool. Oh my gosh! I was gonna say because if it was just like dug tunnels, I'm like, I'm not trusting that thing in Florida. No, <laughs> no they I have know. catacombs in um, under downtown Mount Dora as well that was wow. used for the Prohibition era, so where they would smuggle alcohol Dude, in and they, out. That would be such a cool tour. You would think. I would love that. But I they, don't think it's safe at all. I bet it's like I bet it was made out of asbestos. <laughs> what material are we gonna use to make this? <laughs> I have an idea. Asbestos. <laughs> the same that we make 1950s cereal with. <laughs> like, look same at Same material. It. Oh, Spooky. man. That is, that's, yeah, that's a horror film. That, horror looks, film. that looks like <laughs> yeah, the just VR quarters. game you played. <laughs> Cement lights oh, yeah. out. <laughs> um, what a great sleep you'd have there, though. My friend Burf in high school, her parents had like a- Burf? Burf. Her friends had a- uh, Short for barf. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Stop no, it. No. Had a- uh, uh, like a compound, and uh. they had built a bunker, a bomb shelter, Jeez. and it was really spooky. Mm. Bunker, That's... bunker, um, get in my bunker, dude. This is the longest we've gone without talking about AI in a long time. I know. What's dude, that? I was watching uh, the girls. Wanted, the girls right. wanted to watch uh, one of the episodes uh, last night, and I just picked a random one. It was twenty nine, and that was the beginning of like us starting to talk about ChatGPT. And mm. a, the AI photos that were completely mm. made up of like just people were like, oh, that's so spooky. But and now it's we're like using it, dude. Now <laughs> it's episode fifty one, and it feels like that's so normal now. Yeah, and like that was so bizarre. It's all about normalizing it. It's all about normalizing it. So it's do you nuts. have to explain to your kids what AI is? Is this like, like it's in the books now? A little bit. Like, we, like I've done bedtime stories written by AI. Like they've seen it like happen. Like I'm like uh, entering information. Like they add. And I'm putting it all wow. in, and they see it happen. They've done like the photo mid journey stuff. It's like a stuff. very smart ad lib. Yeah, and so it's just like it's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ad-lib. yeah, it writes decent poetry. Mm. It does. Have you, um, have you guys it does seen some good the, songs too? Have you seen the AI firefighter contraption in Asia? No, he's a firefighter. Uh, this is perfect. He's a hero. <laughs> can can we can I show you guys this reel? Yeah, oh, yeah, we have, we have, we got. I know that's yeah, why I was yeah, yeah. perfect. PG thirteen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have seen this, but. Show it. Oh wait, is this your reel? Yep. Uh, Lily, what's our song? A giant band. Um. Genre. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. 
Griff. Give us a band. What's a band? Yeah, Brandon, what's a band? Griffin, what's a band? What is a band? Fleetwood Mac, you said? Fleetwood Mac. Andrew has a will. It's gonna tell. Okay. I would click. I can't remember the song. We have to find it. Andrew has a reel. And it's going to be real fun to watch. Andrew has a reel. Yes, he does. <laughs> there you go. That's, that started. That was honestly <laughs> really good. That was pretty good. It, it was a slow start, but it yeah. came together. That was solid. Are you ready? All right. Got to be a oh, fool. So Go to have my phone. Are you sharing with Brendan? Or are you- I'm going to show him. Yeah. Audio or no? Sure. Yes. Okay. Josh, you got audio. No right, one else have audio. Mm-hmm. Every- Three, two, two one. one, go. So it, they're in an airport. They uh, oh. they light a fire. They're testing to see if this uh, this contraption can put the fire out. And Why would they do this inside of an you airport? You can see the little the bucket technology that wants. they're trying to catch the water with. Oh, it's inside. <gasps> Whoa. Fire detected. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wait for the it. lasers on Wait there? for it. <laughs> it just blows it up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Whoa. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> That's insane! All from that box? Still Whoa! Going. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps going! They're like, Dude. all right, you got it! What? Turn it off! Dude, imagine <laughs> just start shooting the people. You're going to die anyway. But imagine that- one guy that just accidentally forgets to light up a cigarette in an airport. <laughs> <laughs> Just gets blown out the door. But that, oh that's God. a flipping weapon. Like yeah, you think about crazy. like riot yeah. control with fire hoses that's, and yeah, stuff that you've seen. Like that thing's definitely capable. It's crazy. Of um, Griffin, down. you're about to be put out of a job. <laughs> How do you <laughs> feel about that? <laughs> uh, but you know what time it is. Question corner, question corner, question corner with Lily. Where, Where the, the questions, questions are fresh on her, her mind. mind. Wait, we got to do it again. Brandon has to do it. Okay, three question corners and then followed by where the questions are fresh on our mind with a little spray bottle. Oh, okay. spray bottle. Okay, yeah, it's yeah, fresh. Yeah. All right, ready? Should we go high pitched at the end? Yeah. Like make, re- make it really harmonic. You can't go that high. Yeah, you can. You, can. you can do it. You can ready? do it. Question corner, question corner, question corner with Lily. Where the questions are fresh on our mind. Beautiful. Let's hear it. The <laughs> <laughs> you went in and out. <laughs> That's a good place. <laughs> 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 you have a gift. That was crazy. It's Mariah Carey. Nice. Level. Yeah. <laughs> the, the whistle register. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would you rather have a photographic memory or be able to speak all human languages? That definitely that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, what would be the what would be the pros to having a phone? You can like read any memory? book and remember anything from that it. That would be good. I think about it as Probably like learn a language that would quick. be good. If you were <laughs> guys, <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> hey, think about it. That would be good. <laughs> I'm not choosing it, but that would be good. <laughs> I like that idea. If you were doing this as like a as like a gift. Yeah. Mm. You and could money. memorize like you're, you're the entire too. Bible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or you could witness to any culture. Mm. Oh, that's good. Or you could go into a Chinese restaurant and order the secret <laughs> menu. <laughs> <laughs> and you would know everything on the menu. Hold on. <laughs> what does that mean? Add to your life. I don't know. It sounds cool, though. That just sounds rad. You're a Sherman fight the <laughs> What? <laughs> that means is this free? I think. In what? Mandarin? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's the way you looked at me and asked me that though. question, I was like, <laughs> was I was like, I really hope that wasn't English. <laughs> it's like one of those things where Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> when people keep repeating, you're like, sorry, one more time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that would be the funniest bit if like half of us all learned a language and didn't tell the other half and just on a on a cue switched well, up. Well, Lily has the her secret language. Yeah, yeah, which I feel ticked off because I've known you for four years and that's the first time I've ever heard of this. Anybody else know a secret language that um, I don't know about? Joppish. Dopish, I don't know. Lopish, shopish, yopish. I don't know. I don't Here, know say something to him and see if he gets I tried it. Try to say Josh loves. Are you, you trying to learn it? No, I just, oh. you just say op for a vowel, right? Yeah, you do. Yeah. Oh, Thanks for saying. Joppish. What's up? What's up? Joppish. Joppish. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's my, interesting. <laughs> is that my cue? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I would definitely do the language thing. I would too. Yeah. yeah. I think I went, would probably pick that. My motivation went dark. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I was like, a photographic memory means you probably wouldn't be able to repress anything. And that's like an essential part of functioning oh in society. You need so. therapy. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I would do photographic memory. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I think it would. It would be really cool. Mm. But the, if you did photographic memory, then you could learn any language, right? Oh. Really quickly. <gasps> Uh-oh. I was just I, thinking every, any book. That you, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that sounds good, guys. <laughs> I don't know about you. Um, I, I love the story that your dad tells uh, the lady that he worked with. And she's like, I have a photographic memory. Oh, yeah. And he's <laughs> like, he's like, do you? And she's like, yeah, I can like look, I can remember some things that I read. <laughs> and he's like, so just a memory. He's like, right. <laughs> he's like, Me too. <laughs> everyone has that. <laughs> so you can no, remember things. You don't. No, because I remember reading this one thing one time. <laughs> no, you see, I remember your yeah. name though. <laughs> and you don't remember mine. Oh, <laughs> um, yep. How do you not watch that? How do you like not like, oh, it's the Joker. I think that... <laughs> I think that you get tractor beamed into TV. Well, it's just like <laughs> there's like 30 lights. And just... Brennan has severe ADHD. <laughs> he's oh, never been diagnosed, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he's out there on the volleyball. That's I'm with you if you're out there. <laughs> I have to shake like this. Four lights are at you. You have to. How is no one shaking this right now? <laughs> Faces is, is, is this people shake this before I got here? Is that why no one's shaking it? Because it, it needs to be shaken. <laughs> oh. What's your favorite memory of Josh? Well, it's funny when you're talking earlier, the memory came to my mind. Um, me and Josh are, I don't know, a couple years apart, like a year and two. Yeah, a year two and a half. You're older? Yeah. Of course you are. He's older. What's up? Um, <laughs> what does that mean? So we had a trampoline in our backyard and we used to ride dirt bikes. <laughs> and mm -hmm. <laughs> we were on this trampoline. He was bigger than me at the time. Um, at Still the time. Yeah, of course he is. Uh, I'm a big guy. <laughs> I'm big. Well, you're 5'10". You're I'm five nine with a good pair of shoes. Um, so you're the same height. Yeah. Listen. Um. So so sorry. The trampoline. So the trampoline <laughs> in our backyard. We're playing. We're like jumping around, and then I like I kind of fall, and then he like gets on me, I'm like Josh, and he starts spitting, and, oh. he, and you know, you can slurp back oh, spit. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so I could do that. Towards my face. I'm I like pinned him down. Yeah. <laughs> That's gnarly. You ever and, let uh, it drop on you? <laughs> no. No. Well, the thing is, he would like suck it back, and I stop, and then it broke. <gasps> and it went on my face, and I was like, <laughs> AI, help me. And What's your favorite memory of me? No, no, no. <laughs> I just want to talk about just it. Just me spitting in your face. <laughs> no, but then there's this one memory. I remember I remember my memory. Um, <laughs> it's you photo, have one of those? It's photographic. That's cool. So I can remember. Uh, what's that like? <laughs> um, Sounds good. So we, uh, Josh used to have a bunch of dirt bikes, and I feel like every time we came over, their arms were broken. Um, but, you know, it's like backcountry Florida. Yeah. <laughs> That's who these people are. It's like <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've talked about all the tannerite that used to blow up. And I'm like, this is amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Loved it. We used to love going out there. It's very, it's just wild. And we get on this dirt bike and you start taking off and, and you be, we like trespassing. Like, we're going to go because there's mandar mandarins or clementines, something like that. Oh, yeah. And we had passed the signs like, you will be shot on sight. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, gosh. <laughs> but we get to the mandarins and we have a great moment. I, I just like that. I thought, about <laughs> I thought for a second a lot of memories, but I thought for a second you were trespassing on a Chinese owned farm. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, you guys are vampires too. We are. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Um, cool. <laughs> I'm trying to think of my favorite. You, I have a lot with you. I just lie. Be careful. But <laughs> I just, I, I can't, I can't, I can't pin one down right now. We'll come back to it. Right in a bundle of joy. A, a butthole of joy. A butthole of joy. <laughs> no. I would never say that. You just did. No, I didn't. You said it on screen. <laughs> uh, did you guys know the guy who invented the atomic bomb also invented glitter? Yes. That is the conspiracy. Not the guy who invented the atomic bomb. Or he was, like, he was he one was, of the guys that was, worked on it. Solved. Yeah, yeah. Solved. Solved. Is it that guy? Dang, your cameras can't see that. Griffin, can you take that off? <laughs> How do you guys not just stare at these people? <laughs> <laughs> the guy in you. his beard. Oh, the guy with the, 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 top, the top break. Griff, can you grab that? Griffin, grab that. This is important. This is the guy that invented glitter. Because people don't Brandon said, this, if you grab that, this is important. <laughs> they're wondering why I'm looking around. There's just these people. There it everywhere. is. Perfect. Wait, tilt it. Yeah. Wait, tilt it forward. <laughs> like that? Yeah. Perfect. He's probably He's a, a good cat. man. 
That is the man that invented glitter. I think it took uh, me like a year or two to realize that there was a cat in his beard. Have you ever, on any of these things, have you ever opened them up to see if there's like money inside? Uh, no. The pictures? Yeah. That happened. Oh. Um, oh, when did that happen? Huh? Some dude, he bought a, a painting point point. at a thrift store and wanted to uh, reframe it. Mm-hmm. So he cut off the paper on the back and it had a hundred grand in it. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I take it all back. <laughs> Wow, it was I messed it up. It was like worth a hundred grand. It was at one of the original copies of the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> no, Could you be just behind. Yeah, they like because it was like uh, annotated, like uh, um, it was like the third copy. Yeah, where so did like he it find made multiple it? copies, huh? Where did he find it? Um, find it, a brick. No, it was in, in, a, in, a, a, in a painting. National treasure. Yeah, <laughs> the that's glasses. insane. Yeah, that's wild. Wow. You um, saw the Banksy photo? Which one? So. so well, it shredded? was like framed, and then yeah. It's oh crazy. yeah. As soon as it sold from auction, S- you they like Bansky had it like a button or something, and it just <laughs> pushes and it just shreds it all. But it's still sold. Yeah. For like a ton of money, like the yeah. shredded pieces. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. You called him Bansky. Yeah. He's like a what is, I, I'm yeah. Sarah. <laughs> You know Bansky. <laughs> it's Banshee. Banshee. Yeah. Banksy. Banshee <laughs> trash pash. <laughs> hey, you know that Banksy? Uh, Banksy. Bar- I said it right. Yeah. How did you say it? I don't know. <laughs> I, have, said, I thought I said Banksy. 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 Is that <laughs> what, is it, what is it? Banksy. My, my yeah, I want to draw me a Banksy. Banksy Spaksky. Oh, that's um. What do you do? What do you do whenever you find a heads up penny? What is your uh, what's your tradition? Put it in your pocket. Stu- you can't do that. You put that's it in your what pocket. What did yeah. you just? But it's like good luck, right? Whenever you find a heads up penny. Oh, okay. Do you <laughs> leave it for the next person because you're an empath? Paying it no. forward. I'm just saying, Kelsey found one outside of 7-Eleven today, and she's like, hey, I found you a heads up penny. And it's like, oh, thank you. And I just, I, I like put it in like the, the thing with all the pennies and stuff, like all the, like the se- separations of the coins. So I put it in there, and then she's like, I'm not supposed to do that. I'm like, what? And she's like, you're supposed to put it in your shoe. I'm like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, and without even question, I'm like, okay. And so I just, I still, I think I still have it in my shoe, but it's like, I, I just didn't know. I love that. I've never heard that. <laughs> I haven't either. either. You're supposed to put a penny in your shoe on your wedding day. I did it. I don't think you did it. There's some endearing superstitions. It's just like, that's great. Are <laughs> you a superstitious guy at all? Do you have anything that, like that? Like you just can't get out of your head? Or are you just a no. little stitious? Kind of stitious. No, I just, you know the, just don't step on the crack. Break, break your mom's back. Yeah. I just, like when I walk on sidewalks, I'm not paying attention. I'm not walking on the cracks. Like I'm, I'm like skipping. I'm like, people notice it. They that's look funny. at me. <laughs> I just take back. care of my mom. I love my mom. I'm sorry. Sorry, I like yeah. my mom a lot. Yeah, shout out Brian and Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> You've mentioned them a couple of times. Yeah, that's, Dude, probably, they would that's be, my claim to fame. They'd be <laughs> great on the pod. They we want to yeah. have Brian and um and um. I love you, mom and dad. And Taylor's Eric. dad, Eric, Nori. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you? What do you have a superstition? I don't think so. I don't think. Uh, I, I do was knock on wood. I do them all. I throw the sh- the salt over my shoulder. It's one of those things where if anything comes to my mind, I can't (laughs) get it out. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, I'm noticing this right now. And I'm like, I can't ignore it. Like, if anything's bothering me, if, like, the blanket's up, like, too much or, like, I'm, like, noticing one thing that's, like, in front of the alarm clock when I'm laying down. So it's just OCD. You have OCD. Maybe. I don't know. (laughs) I just figured that was just one of those things, like, superstitious. You know, like, when you, like, like walk into a room, you have to flip the light switch on and off ten ten times. times. (laughs) No. No one has to do that. (laughs) Ah, sure. That's my superstition. Yeah, like, when you get in the car, you have to start restart it and start it. You know, like, you have to, like, just... Sit there for like you know, six like minutes. You shake someone's hand. You have to wash your hands at least fifteen and times. And you, <laughs> you have to lick their cheeks and on their yeah. forehead, and then you have to rub their on um, their head on their armpit. Yeah, that's like yeah. a new girl when he's like, "It's called the willies," and they're like, "I think you have anxiety, Winston." <laughs> 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 so that's anxiety. Oh, oh. Hmm. I just get really bummed out for like six months straight. Didn't oh. leave the house. Like, that, that's depression. What are you talking about? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, my just door can work. <laughs> it was locked. Unlock it. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, <sighs> Brandon, thanks for coming, man. Yeah, Griff, yes. thanks for coming. Thanks yes. for having me. Griffin, lean in and lean say, in. say something. Me on. I really yep. appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what scares me about that Griff is he cool. kind of looks like my brother. That's the scary. I showed you a picture. That of is my brother. scary. He, you look. No, he actually does. Scarily twins. like my brother. We just never let you know. Oh, mm. <laughs> what a twist that would be. Mm. We should get uh, Griffin on sometime um, solo because he has the most uh, terrible firefighter stories ever. Oh, good. Got some crazy stories. I would yes. love to tell you guys. Yeah, 
We're we'll gonna, go. That'll be our dark oh, like, episode. Look at that know. cliffhanger our for the next episode. one. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, just go. everyone, like, just be like, we all come in full right gear, just <laughs> <laughs> fired. They were sweating the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> it's the heat no, stroke. It'll be, it'll be just the funny stories. Cool. We'll Beautiful. do it. Um, lots of funny poop stories. <laughs> yes. You can kind of do this too to talk. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's it. Hey, thanks. Shout out to um, Anointed Beard Oil Company. They sent us some beard balm and some beard oil for Lily. Um, wow. Very cool. So check wow. them out. They sent me beard Anointed oil? Beard Oil. Yeah. <laughs> also, guys, good. don't forget to um, go send a cool swag.com and get our new awesome. Can I have alien that? hat. Thank you. Look awesome. at that new alien hat. Shout out to Rutgers also. Such That's a dope design. Hey, who yes. designed that? Say Chad, hi. Chad from Sunday Cool, one of our best artists around here. Um, that's a cool front, but we talked about this in the ad. Remember? Oh, we did. Yeah, SundayCoolSwag.com. <laughs> yes, we've already discussed that. Make sure to like, review, share this uh, show with a friend. Share if you, it with if your you're grandma. at Rutgers, come say hi. I work there. Yes. Where is Rutgers? What is Rutgers, Rutgers Island, New Jersey? New Jersey. Jersey. Forget about it. I live in New Jersey, New Brunswick, New Jersey. I work at Rutgers with the Catholic Student Association. And so, if you're over there, roll up, say hi. That's right. Roll up! Skateboard. All right. Love you. Love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, and I love you. We love you. And I love my green alien woman. Lady <laughs> Luck. <laughs> You did great, Brennan. That's, that's hard to just not be nervous. Now we do one episode. And now that we got that one done, we do a um, follow-up episode, episode uh, shirtless. So get ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>